Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the gloves are completely off for this and for a couple of reasons. Number one, y'all already know that I don't cut any slack to the franchises in our area. And the reason why is because they're big corporate machines. They got all this money. They got the name brands. They can just plop into a market and hit the ground running. They don't have to fight and claw like us small business owners have to do. You got every opportunity to benefit off all that cash flow you got going around and put out excellent products. Now, mind you that I always try to distinguish that from the actual local workers that are in our local franchises that we visit. And understanding that food is always subject to an element of human error, if there's anything that applies to that category in this or really anything that we look at on this channel, I try to distinguish that and I try to hit our workers with grace because people are going people. You know what I mean when I say that? People going people. So with all that being said, we're about to take a look at this item and I'm not going to play with them because when you come out and say you're going to put something like this out onto the open market, then you should be subject to any and everything when it comes to the feedback. So for those of you that do not know, Firehouse Subs, in light of the time of year that we're in, where everybody's now coming out with all their Halloween themed and Thanksgiving themed items, has taken a Thanksgiving plate and put it on a sub. So this is the Firehouse Thanksgiving Day sub. And I can tell you that this bag does smell like a Thanksgiving plate and also bag and cardboard. I have every expectation that I'm about to bring the gauntlet down on this sandwich. One more disclaimer and then we'll open it. We're going to get into it. But we're in the South. Looking at the pictures, I could clearly tell that what they have on this sandwich is stuffing. We don't do stuffing in the South. We do dressing in South Carolina. And those are two different things. For those of you that don't know, dressing would be like a mashed form of stuffing. To me, to many Southerners, stuffing is very dry and it's basically just wet croutons. It's like croutons with some chicken broth and some herbs. We don't do that. We do dressing with a little bit of giblet gravy. And this young man grew up with his grandmother's dressing who was so good that it really didn't even need the gravy. Although I probably would put it on there anyways. So in my mind, I've already made the adjustment and I know I can't compare this to grandma's dressing. But at the same time in the subconscious, that's also working against him. And don't get me wrong. If y'all watch this channel enough, y'all know that I know there's some great food up north, but you got to know where you're at for certain items. And when it comes to the Thanksgiving plate, I promise you folks, anybody up north, what you really want is a properly executed dressing. You won't want that stuffing no more. All right, we're about to get into this. Now, this is, um, it's just funny, the stuff people, they, they, they're they going to keep on plowing until they come up with something. This is crazy to me. A Thanksgiving day sub. Immediately, I had low expectations. I was almost appalled, honestly. Then I looked at the picture. Like, right as I was preparing to do this video before I was to head over there, I realized they put mayo on there. And I was like, who came up with that? And then I, right when I saw that, I said, uh-oh, this might actually be good. I don't know what we're about to find out. I've never put mayo on my Thanksgiving plate, and I wouldn't recommend it. But for some reason, when I saw that, I said, they might have done something here. So we're about to find out. Turkey tastes like Thanksgiving turkey. No doubt about that. All right, here we go. So what this is, is um, the sliced turkey breast, the stuffing, cranberry sauce, and mayonnaise. She asked me if I wanted a pickle. I like pickles, but no, I don't want a pickle with this. When I saw the pictures with the mayonnaise on it, and I know it's weird, like why the mayo? I don't know. It just, when they put mayo on it, I was like, wait a minute, I could have this thing all wrong. Their marketing department, their testing facility, however they do it, they may have come up with something that is going to be brilliant. That was where I turned the corner on this. And now after eating it, I've landed in the middle. This isn't bad. I know some of y'all just crave for somebody to slam somebody. I can't slam this. But it's also not great. This tastes like if you went to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, you know the kind of people they can cook, but everything they make out of a box or a bag. If you had Thanksgiving at that person's house, that's what this is. This is boxed stuffing and that's unfortunate also they got the cranberry sauce wrong this is one of the few items where i actually prefer the cheap imitation version of something even at a home cooked meal ever since i was a kid i love the canned cranberry sauce so if i come to your house for thanksgiving and you worked super hard you made all this great food i'm just gonna tell you this is the one item that not only will i accept 
I actually prefer over a homemade cranberry sauce. Maybe it's weird. I don't know. And that was what I was expecting on here. But that's not what this is. They went for more of a homemade approach. And I might be in the minority on that. I'm assuming I probably am. But you give me a can of Ocean Spray cranberry sauce, I'm good to go. But the real bottom line is there's not enough. Now, this could be that user error element that I was talking about. The mayo is almost non-existent on here. I would have liked just a little bit more turkey. They did all right, but I, a little bit more would have been okay. Especially on the back ends, like there's none back here whatsoever. And there's not much of that cranberry sauce, which would really bring the whole blend together. So you've got boxed stuffing standing out. However, the turkey is really good. The turkey really tastes like your Thanksgiving plate at your mom's house. Yeah, we really have become the United States of big-backed people. This shouldn't exist, but it does, and it's not bad. So much so that I'm sitting here thinking like, wow, if I could take my grandmother's dressing, cranberry sauce that I like, get a little bit more mayo on here, a little bit more turkey, this thing would be slamming. This, <laughs> that's crazy. It shouldn't be that way. This should have been an abomination. We should have came away from this saying, this is a stupid sandwich. This should not exist. It's really not that bad. And if you got the right ratios on here, which I don't think mine had, the right ratio of the stuff in the cranberry sauce, the mayo, and the turkey, this is completely acceptable. As crazy as that is. Now, I will say this. The group of y'all out there that can't have any of your food touching on the plate, you, you would hate this. You're not going to like this. But if your team mix it all together, like myself, yeah. It doesn't quite have the Thanksgiving vibes that I was looking for, but I think that's just because of the ratios and the the whole boxed stuff and thing we we don't do that meaning we don't do the boxed stuff period and then we also don't do stuffing so that's like a double negative on that one so it doesn't give me personal thanksgiving vibes but it's close and it's not bad <laughs> i would say if you go be willing to fork out the extra dollars if need be but make sure the right amount of turkeys on there get extra cranberry sauce the amount of uh stuffing that they put on there is probably fine and then you may or may not want to make sure they put a little bit more mayo on them on that one that is shockingly better than I felt like it should be. I felt like it should be offensive, but it was actually good enough. Let us know down in the comments if your team keep all your food separate or just mix it all together. I know for me, it's mix it all together. Like when I've got my butter beans and rice and then I've got fat back in a biscuit, you get the fat back, the butter beans and rice, you wash it down with the biscuit. That all goes together. Same thing with the Thanksgiving plate. You take the dressing, you put the piece of turkey on there, you slap some of the cranberry sauce on top. They had the right vision. And I'm sitting here really thinking, I'm like, wow, we've been doing our leftovers completely wrong the whole time. For all these years, I was doing the Thanksgiving leftovers completely wrong. Hmm. But we can't get that back. We can only make it right moving forward. Shout out to Firehouse Subs for the creativity. If y'all watch this channel, y'all know at least for me locally, I'm a Jersey Mike's guy. I don't frequent Firehouse. Maybe every now and again. Would I eat another one of these before Thanksgiving? Possibly. Especially if I was in my old nine to five environment where that one lunch hour is like routine and it's precious and you look so forward to what you're going to do for lunch that day in that hour. I probably would have this another time or two before Thanksgiving came just to be festive, you know? Just because I'm feeling festive, I would take what I've learned today and have it built the way that I feel like it should be. I will say that was almost enjoyable to my surprise. So look, don't mistake what I'm saying. I'm not saying the thing is excellent. I'm not saying that it's going to match what you probably have at your home, your grandma's house, your mom's house, your in-law's house on Thanksgiving Day. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that if you thought what I thought when you saw it, you laughed. And hey, they brought something to the table that was worthy of some respect, I think. Needs a couple tweaks, but yeah, even with what they're offering, you can make something solid out of it. So shout out to Firehouse Subs. Good job. And just be cautioned if you're from the South. Remember, this is stuffing. This is not your grandma's dressing. All right, well, we're going to get out of here. I look forward to hearing what y'all think about this thing that Firehouse Subs has made. But in the meantime, y'all take care, and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.